called the Wapless Cats. Service, Sid Crump, Hal and Henry Robinson, Wampus Cats. And uh, right now we'd like to introduce to you a young man who is uh, he's young enough to where he can get a project going and, and probably uh, get it done before he's too long in the tooth. Big round of applause for Scarry Hinton with the Blue Goose Blues Foundation. Uh, Scarry Hinton, I'm the executive director of the Blue Goose Blues Foundation. And after reading Mr. Dan Gardens, insert a tree foot sounds of black and white. Uh, I saw some. My neighborhood uh, always has been known as the wrong side of the tracks. And for the first time in many years, I saw a way that we can uplift the people that reside there now. I uh, worked with Mr. Adam Dyson to come up with this schematic drawing of what I saw for the neighborhood. And in my little brain, as Mr. Dyson would say, uh, I see a artsy type of neighborhood where it is music friends, um, dealing with all genres music, blues, jazz, reggae, R&B, country western, uh, all genres. Uh, and, and in this in this plan, you know, we have uh, a couple of things for tourists to do, like uh, Lulu Studios, uh, bed and breakfast. Uh, hopefully I can work with uh, North by Northwest Music Foundation and they can have another leg uh, for a music museum in the neighborhood. Also, we have a couple of French markets where we can offer produce on the weekends. Um, I'm going to say that this is a tedious task. Nobody ever told me that operating a non-profit organization would be this hard. Mm -hmm. But I mean it's a way that as Mr. Gardner said, I'm young enough probably see it through, and hopefully by the time I'm 75, it'll happen. <laughs> um, and with that, uh, I do have a website that's, that's up and running. It's called uh, bluegooseblues.org. You can go to the website and find out more information about what we do. We have two projects that we're running currently off um, for my nonprofit. One is called Project Star. What I do, I take aspiring artists, and I give them a stage. I tour with them from, from Texas to Mississippi and give them an opportunity to gain exposure in the music industry. Also, my second project is Project Wallflower, and that's headed by Ramona Smith. She has a specialist in child psychology. It's a community daycare slash child care program to where we work with trouble uh, academically and socially challenged kids to try to set them on the right path. The only, the only way this thing can work, we need support. Um, it's, it's going to take a collective e effort to make it happen. And hopefully down the line five, ten years from now, hopefully, you know, we'll have some leeway with, with the Blue Goose Blues Foundation. And with that, y'all, I'm, I'm finished. Y'all have a good evening. Well, what streets actually boundary the area? Okay, this is Stone Street, Baker, yeah. Fairfield, 
Sam Arfantino, Pickett, and Rear Baker. Gotcha. Three streets, two alleys. Yeah. Um, it, it would take approximately $14 million to uh, build all of this. Uh, I think it's two anchors to the neighborhood. One is Fatima's Miller Contestant, which is open and operating. Yeah. And the next one is the site of Luke's Hill. I'm trying, I'm in the process now of trying to redevelop this Blue Blue's Hill and turn it into a tourist attraction. Okay. Um, I've talked with uh, Pam at the Naked Bean and also um, uh, UNI Cafe. Mm -hmm. Once I renovate the area, they, they have agreed to move in Sweet. to kind of jumpstart the process. So, you know, it, I'm looking at three years out, but hopefully my father's will, it shall be done. Any more questions? Very nice. Good job. Okay. Have a nice afternoon. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, this is the very first time we've ever done anything like this here at 516. What we would like to do uh, as a part of the North by Northwest Louisiana Music Foundation is the first Friday of each month do something very similar, a brown bag lunch special, where we can have someone come in and uh, speak about some aspect of music. I'm, I think I'd love to get Chris Brown out here sometime. That guy's just like a walking encyclopedia. But uh, anyway, uh, coupled with uh, music uh, from the area. So uh, please kind of keep your eyes open for the next event, which will be the first Friday of, uh, of August. And uh, we're going to ask uh, Leonard Service and Sid Crump to uh, perform a couple more songs. And uh, we'd certainly welcome any uh, suggestions for future programs. Uh, for our brown bag lunch lecture. Thanks so, for coming too. Letter service, sit proud. We want this. Okay, one more song we're going to do a Jesse Thomas song called No Goose Blues. Come on. 